Hello guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. And today we'll be making a quick, quick tutorial um, about modeling. And we're going to be learning to make this uh, simple looking uh, pen stand right in uh, Cinema 4D. Uh, I won't be doing the texturing or the lighting because uh, I just use some basic materials uh, and uh, you know you can put in whatever you want. So I'll be, ju I'll be just doing the modeling and uh, let's begin. So the first thing here in my new project, I'm going to go to the output settings and change my render settings. That's what I usually do all the time. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep, create the base first and then we're going to create the top part of it. And by top part, I mean the stand. So uh, let's go and create a, uh, let's see, what we, well, a cylinder. I'm going to set the radius to 300. I'm going to set the relation segments to 50. I'm going to set the orientation to X that would do. Uh, in the object, the height, I want to reduce that down to probably around uh, 15. And in the caps, I'm going to go choose a fillet cap of three segments and a radius of two, which uh, looks completely less than that. And then I'm going to hit C on the keyboard to make it editable. I'm going to go to the polygon mode. I'm going to select all these polygons. And then I'm going to go right click, choose. Uh, the extrude inner or I can press I on the keyboard and we want to give it an offset of probably two and then I'm going to go right click and choose the extrude or you can press the D key and I'm going to bring the offset to say around minus six okay and then what we want to do is we want to go to the points tool uh, I want to go choose press K on the keyboard to get the knife tool and I'm going to go choose loop and then I'm going to uh, zoom in pretty much over here and uh, make a few cuts. So uh, one over here and one over here. And then I'm just going to drop this in a subdivision surface. And uh, we get a pretty good looking base. And then I'm just going to call this base. Let's hide this now. We won't be needing that. Okay, then let's go make our actual stand. So let's grab a cylinder. So in the radius, we're going to set that to 100. And the height is going to be 280. Uh, Red relation segments be 36. Uh, caps, we don't want any caps. And then we want to go, we want to make this editable by pressing the C key. And then we want to, oops, uh, we want to choose uh, all these polygons. And uh, we got to press this button to use the polygon, which puts us into the polygon mode. And uh, we're going to right click, choose extrude inner, set the offset to say around 8. And we're going to right click, extrude, and we're going to extrude it down. And I'm going to make extrude mine to around 250. So if we go into our right view, we see that um, it's come down pretty much over here. Extrude it down. We want to uh, add a few cuts, so I'm going to do the point selection tool, press K on my keyboard, and then go to the loop selection. And here I want to show you guys a quick cool tip. So uh, if I place the uh, cursor over here and hold shift and I move away, you can see that it gets kind of locked and it's pretty gray in color. And here in the offset, if I just press 50 and I just click in the viewport, it makes the exact cut at 50 degrees. So apart from that, we want to make a cut over here, a cut over here. Uh, we want to go inside, make a cut over here, over here. Uh, we want to make a cut right in the center, probably around there. And then let's go back and uh, we want to make a cut over here and over here. Then after that, we want to press UL on the keyboard which gives us the loop selection or you can go to select loop selection and I want to choose this middle set of points and uh, I'm just going to take it and uh, drag them up a little okay probably uh, somewhere around there and then we want to go into our right view and we want to make a few cuts again so press the K and in the loop mode I'm going to make a cut over here and uh, then make a cut probably uh, over here. And what we want to do is you want to go and select the selection tool. 
and the polygonal selection tool select the uh, this and we want to select the alternative sides so I'm just going to set the radius of this to 1 so hold shift and uh, select all these alternative polygons and since our rotation segments oops what was that was an even number which was 36 we got uh, the exact number of sides alternate sides that we can select so uh, let me just get over with this okay I'm almost done. Okay. So there we go. So once we have selected all these sites, I'm going to press I on the keyboard to choose the extrude inner tool. I'm going to set the offset to 1. And I'm going to press D on the keyboard to get the extrude tool. And I'm going to set the offset to minus 1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and drop this in a hyper subdivision surface or a hyperlapse in your you know, version. And uh, there we go. So we have this nice uh, kind of a grip to the crayon stand. So this is my the original scene which I created. And uh, this has the normal cup or the stand. And then we have the base. And we have an array. So what I did is I actually went, took one of the, uh, the original ones, the original stand. And then we dropped them in a bool object. So we took a cube. So if I just unhide the bool. So we see that uh, we have we put the cube right here on one of the um, uh, stands which we shrink shrink down, and then we put on the bull, and we see it kind of cuts it off. And then what we did is we put, I put in an array, and uh, I set the amount of the clones to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I just deleted the two. So it's a pretty simple tutorial. This is pretty much the end of it. So thank you very much for watching guys and I hope to see you again in other future tutorials. Goodbye. Have a great day.